All right, y'all, if you know me, you know that I have sold about $15 million in SaaS revenue. And so here are the seven top tips that I give to help those folks. So uh, we're gonna get straight into it. The first one is in your prospect and you wanna start with the problem that you solve, not the product that you have, right? So every email, every cold call, every LinkedIn message should be focused on one thing. You wanna see if this person has the problem that you solve. The second thing, is that you wanna find consistency. So you don't need to spray and pray, you don't need to send emails to thousands of people at once. Uh, the simple rule that I use is five by five. Every week you find five accounts and you five, find five contacts per account to reach out to each week. The third tip is uh, to time block, always time block. So find three days per week to prospect. So the fourth tip is to keep your emails short. I see emails all the time that are five paragraphs that are 500 words that are droning on and on that have a bunch of different marketing. I promise you, your prospect does not give a shit about any of that. The fifth key is diversifying your outreach. So a lot of people will tell me that they're struggling. I'll say, okay, show me what you're doing. And they just show me a bunch of emails or they just say, I'm only cold calling or I'm just on LinkedIn. The best salespeople I know do all of these things. They do a cold calls, emails, LinkedIn, direct mail. Sometimes they're knocking on doors. It depends what you're selling uh, in your territory, but you need to diversify. The sixth tip that I have is show me, you know me. So the first sentence of any email or the first line of any cold call should be you know, showing that this is specifically, you're specifically reaching out to this person. So uh, you want to show them that you know them in some way about their business, their pain point, you know, what's going on. The last tip, <clears throat> number seven, lucky number seven is a call to action. So what are we calling these people to do at the end of our email? So at the end of an email, you want to make it simple and easy for someone to respond. So those are the seven tips that I have. Hope you found this to be helpful.